Welcome to Flutter Teacher. In this video, with five different points, I'm going to compare list view widget with single child scroll view. So without wasting time, let's get started. For understanding this comparison, you must know the basics of both list view and single child scroll view. We already covered them in separate videos. Don't forget to watch them. Link for them is available in the description. Basically, both list view and single child scroll view are the widget in Flutter that can be used to display scrolling content in an application. They may seem similar at a first glance, but there are some important differences between the two that make them better suited for different use cases. Now, let's see point by point how they differ. Now, the first point is content placement. When we use list view and single child scroll view, you can notice the difference how we place the content that is item inside it. For list view, we pass scrolling content directly as a child and for list view builder and list view dot separator, we use builder function. Whereas in case of single child scroll view, we get a child that takes only one element and that's why we usually make a column as a child for single child scroll view and place scrolling content as the children for this column. Now let me talk about memory uses and performance. List view is designed to display large number of child widget. And the list view dot builder, list view dot separator, as well as the list view dot custom is optimized for rendering only the visible portion of a list items on the screen. Here, items are loaded and unloaded as needed based on the position of scroll, which helps to improve the performance and reduces the memory uses. Whereas single child scroll view loads all it contained at once and thus consumes more memory and is not so efficient compared to the list view. Now let's talk about the point called child width and height. One of the most key difference that you might have seen in the way how items occupied width and height in case of list view and the single child scroll view. In case of list view, when a list view is vertical, all the item will take maximum available width and for horizontal list view, all items will take maximum available height. You can observe here, I simply have a list view here and that contains a container. You can observe here, width of this container is only 200 pixel and the second container has only the 100 pixel width. Still, you can observe here, all the elements that is all the containers of this list are getting the complete width. Now, let me change this list to say column. Uh, so let me write here column and what I'm going to do, I'm going to wrap this column inside the single child scroll view. So let's wrap it inside the widget and we have to name this as say single child scroll view. So let's write here single child scroll view and now let me save the application and let's see the magic that happens here. You can observe here as we have a single child scroll view, each element in single child scroll view is not occupying the complete width or complete height. Rather, it is trying to get the minimum height or minimum width it is possible. You can observe here uh, the first container is having a width of only say 200 pixel here and the second has got a width of 100 pixel third has got the width of 400 pixel of course it is having the cyan color uh, let me go to the red one the red one has got width of 200 and if i scroll here you can see we have the red container with only 150 width now let's talk about the number of properties available as list view is optimized for memory uses and it also alerts the programmer to control the optimization by using the properties like item extend, prototype item, automatic keep allow, add repaint boundaries, then attach extend and so on. Whereas in case of single child scroll view, we can't see these properties. Now the fifth and very important question is which one to use. Flutter has given list view and single child scroll view to work in different use cases. As list view is optimized for memory and performance, when long list of scrolling item has to be shown, Flutter suggests list view or appropriate constructor of it. Whereas when we need scrolling behavior only to fit UI perfectly in different screen size or for device rotations, use the single child scroll view. Moreover, to display keyboard of the text input, scrollable alert dialog, and small scrolling components like form, user profile, setting options are suggested to be placed inside the single child scroll view. That's it for this video. See you guys in the next video. If you have any doubt or any query related to this topic, feel free to comment it. And if you really found this video helpful and knowledgeable, then don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and hit the bell notification button to get latest videos.